When God was a child, he walked with his arms swinging. He wanted the stream to be a river, the river a valley, the valley a vast pit. When God was a child, he didn't know he was a child. Everything was born into life, and all life seemed as one. When God was a child, he had no opinion about anything, no habits, no desire. He often sat with his arms behind his head, his hair in shambles, his face purposely askew, and he didn't know he was soon to be photographed. Here we are, in sub-suburbia. This is the pit. It's a little recess in the middle of the woods. That's all. Don't think much more into it. A forest of metaphors and nothing more. Everything I'm about to show you is my will. Take note of every blink of my eye, every turn of my head, every word I say, every step I take. As of now, I'm in complete control. May substance no longer manage my flesh. It reminds me of yet another archetypical winter morning of mine just one year ago. But as of now, I'm in complete control. Time to write my own story. But as of, well, a couple hours from now, uncertainty, oblivion, withdrawals. This is my room. I'm not much for decoration or detail. I have a single poster in my room that my eyes happen to pass by every day. One man on the rocks, coming up. One time I saw the wanderer turn his head over to me, like he was about to show me the storms and struggles he sees. Then I looked away, again, wondering if maybe he just sees the same white wall behind him as I. Too often I walk, restless, and everything looks the same, against the seasons, day and night, the same. Sometimes I wonder if it is the same foundation of reality that the wisest of the gods see. And thus I am already enlightened. <coughs> is it cold out here? It's just you. I knew you'd come here. Of course. You had to be here. Oh, well, sorry. You couldn't have helped it. <laughs> I thought I'd just come here and think and look around a bit. You know, I think this is the first time I've actually come here alone. Yeah, we always used to come to the pit. All of us. But strangely, now I find this is the only place I can be alone. Oh, well, sorry. That's... It's whatever. I was probably gonna call you tonight anyway. So... Now that we've fallen into the trap of interrupting one another's thought process... Tell me, my friend, what are you thinking about? Well, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just about my future and shit. I start a new day job in the morning. Just trying to achieve full control of my life. Well, that's probably kind of impossible, but good luck on the job. What, I can change whatever I want. I almost had my first day plan all set in stone until you barged in and just ruined my thought process. Another one of your stupid plans? It's just some existential crisis or whatever. You know, it's fine, everything's been figured out. All right. 
no, I hate that phrase, existential bullshit. But still, again, just don't worry about it. Well, hey, crisis fucking averted, jeez, you know? I guess I gotta watch what I say around you. Each thought I have, each thought I describe it. Then don't describe them and you'll be fine, you pseudo-philosophical fuck. Then how am I no, supposed to- No, seriously, stop talking. Wow, what's with you, man? Maybe you should, like, smoke a joint or something. Finally did it. What, made it here without getting lost? No. I quit. I don't drink. I don't smoke. It's the only- You quit? Way. You? What are you gonna do when we, like, hang out? I mean, I know this sounds really bad, but, uh, how are you, like, going to escape? There's no need to escape. These drugs were just clouding my reality. Who knows, maybe they'll start them again once I find it. The most basic reality of nature, so I know how to differentiate between that and my very own. But, that's the thing. I don't want to have to differentiate. I want to be cleansed, pure, and escape by knowing the difference between my reality and the world's. In the face of it all, I just want to be. Well, my friend, you might as well just quit eating. Or, you know, quit shaking hands. Quit opening doors. These factors, they're all around you, and you're obsessing again. What is it that you want to be, a ghost? Well, Darth, that's how I feel all the time. Or at least that's how I felt. Like... I'm inhuman, like I'm doing everything for show to impress myself. A life, a world in which everything is arbitrary. Vince, <sighs> okay, I'm gonna help you like you did for me last year. So go on. The struggle Connecting the individual to reality. To not secede upon oneself, myself, and become a self-serving asshole moment to moment brings the greatest meaning in life, it seems. It seems. So what do you have to go by? The 17 years of my life I was completely sober. <laughs> Man, you used to have panic attacks in your bed while watching cartoons. You once threw a controller at me because I beat you in some video game. Honestly, dude, you were fucked up before you even started doing drugs. So I guess you gotta ask yourself, what's better, then or now? The future. I want to ascend. What does that mean? I want to... I want to become the ultimate being I was meant to be, you know? <laughs> My first thought would be to say, you? Humorously and not very tacitly. But yeah, you know, I guess you're right. Sometimes you just gotta give up on the things that you love. What do you love? People. You know, faith. That we can turn ourselves onto the right path. Back onto the right path, you mean? No, not gonna happen. What we need is a clean slate. Oh, so do you want to ascend or do you want to revert? It's just my stupid instinct. I need to find new things to love, new ways to love, but I keep coming back to the past and the ever-distant present. It just still seems so much better. When you can see reality for what it really is, you can see yourself as you really are. It's like cleansing a mirror, the same one that shows you the world. Only then can I function automatically in tune with myself and the world. Nah, dude, you sound like Wally. Wally's the smartest guy I know. But then wouldn't you become robotic? So what? I'd love to end it all, this pain, this withdrawal, this longing, and continue as is. We started out as robots anyway. Until we feigned some forced sense of free will. After we overworked ourselves, and now we're quickly becoming robots again. Look man, longing? That's a part of human nature. You don't try to force these things, you take them as they come. Fuck off, I'm not forcing anything, I am trying. And whatever happens next, and oh, I'm sure there will be plenty, it will be my conscious will. What, like, like the will to live? That, or my destiny to suffer. 
So does your will to live outweigh your destiny to suffer? It's the same thing. One just seems more pressing in an instant, you know? What's that in the pit, anyway? Looks like a periwinkle spaghetti squash shaped dildo or something. <laughs> yeah, look at that, it does. Man, I was so immersed in our conversation, I didn't even bother to look into the pit. This reminds me of a dream I had in my 10 minute nap at home. Okay, well, that made absolutely no sense. But I guess they must have had to been there to see it. Just need to go into a trance, a euphoric trance, and just dwell on the fact that nothing really exists. No inherent values, no intrinsic nature outside of nature. How can you sit there and say that nothing really exists? I mean, look, like right here, this is a torch, I can see it, it's there, it exists. This over here is a tree. It's there. These are my shoes, and I'm a fucking human being! You are an idiot. These are just symbols, like objects in a film. And it's my goal to ascend to the point where I can look down on these things objectively for what they really are. Only then... Only then. Hey man, what's with you? You seem... so fucking serious. Shit. I've gotta go meet my friend Amber at a bar. I promised I'd get her drunk. She's been depressed recently, and, you know, that's per usual with her. Look, lighten up, man. Knowing sober you, you'll just be a raging lunatic. Did you plant that torch by you? Yeah. The darkness, it makes me nauseous. It's not gonna hold. Relax, dude. I got this. what I want to. I just feel uncomfortable being forced to say something when I want to, as you said, be. Just say anything. 
Whatever's on your mind. I don't care. You should know I don't care. Remember the third time we met and we promised each other that we weren't going to ask any more questions, that we were just going to know what we knew? Yes, Finn. Relationships can't work like that. We just have to keep moving. <sighs> something was there. But I just had to be alone. what you want. To sit here in this room, to just be in this room, this inside room, and just be? something to you. I just thought this would mean something to me. Like everything in the past? like the culmination of otherworldly events we've, we've, as we've withstood together? Like, I mean, it's like it was all just meaningless. All the moments have faded. I mean, what can one gain from mere moments from a world that's undefined?
Want to help me? Create this masterpiece. No. You don't even know what you're doing. Yes, I do. I watch the guys behind the counter at pizza places all the time. You're so messy. Shut up! You can be messy and still be organized, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, look. You scold me all the time for speaking in mere mumbles, but what does mm-hmm mean? Mm-hmm. You don't talk to me anymore. Just, you tell me things and that's it. Well, all right. When I was a kid, I had this unexplainable compulsion to tell my mother everything. Whatever happened, I had to tell her. I would tire myself out just talking to her for hours about it. When I went on vacation, I had to make lists. It was like, if I didn't tell her, it never really happened, you know? It was just a passing moment. Aw, your mom. How cute. Of me. Isn't that enough? You're so selfish. That's not true. I, how did this argument even start? What did you do today? Uh, I woke up at five after my night shift. Spent two hours making dinner. I walked to my landlord's to pay a bill and then came straight here. Do you have anything to eat? Two hours? Uh, nothing you'd like. When was the last time you said you loved me anyway? A week and a half ago, when we were walking back from groceries. Two days after that, at the coffee shop in the basement. And that one time in the laundry room, twice that night in bed. I just wish I could help you. No one could truly help anyone else. No one can truly help those who don't help themselves. No one likes people who can't help helpless people. You're not helpless. You're just stubborn and too caught up. I just want to help you. Don't pity me. Don't try to internalize my pain. Washing over half a 
forgotten memory Deep within the moment Laughter floats upon the breeze Rising and falling Dying down within me showed it to me. The first time we met. That was the best night. Best I could possibly remember. When I speak to you, it feels like everything has meaning, no matter how unimportant it is. A boundless connection where everything seems right. What happened? I don't know. Hey, do you remember that one time we vacationed tonight in the city? <laughs> yeah. And there was a surprise 30-pack waiting for us out on the terrace. <laughs> and you couldn't have it. <laughs> we even dreamed of getting our own place. Like a log cabin in the woods. I wonder if my problems would still persist. Everything else would persist, at least. I wonder if I even like the woods. Or if it's a desperate plea for a new beginning. Yeah, we could use that. Again. What are you doing after this? Go under the pit. Again? Why do you always go there alone? What's wrong with that? I feel best when I'm alone. It's a great way to connect to things, or not at all. When I'm with another person, I feel different. When I'm with two people, I'm even less myself. 
when I'm with you and I look into your eyes, I feel something stronger yet. Yeah, but okay, I get it. I'm bad for you. I've said this before. We should just break up. No. For your sake. No. No, no. That's the last thing on my mind. <sighs> I'm going to meet my friends. You should meet them sometime, even though you probably hate them. I know. <laughs> Awesome, man. I felt like hey, I was Vince! Hey, Vince! Awesome, hey, Vince! Oh, Vince! Vince. What's going on? Vince, what's up, Vince? Hey, Vince, man, you made it, dude! Were you with that girl again? You fucker. Yo, dude, check out the pit. There's so many empty beer bottles in there, man. I swear that wasn't even us. It was like Vince. I didn't even know you were coming tonight, man. Vince! 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 We're about to smoke this. I'm gonna fucking kill myself tonight. Pit, motherfuckers! <laughs> Hold on, come on, dude. <laughs> Typical Wally. <laughs> Vince, John, John, where are you going, John? John! <laughs> Jim, Jim! It was in your backyard, but... You gonna like it? Yo, hey, Vince, man, maybe you, like, shouldn't watch. Dude, I watch this every night. Hey, does anybody have a lighter? You know, I think uh, Wally's busy with his. Mosquitoes are fucking mosquitoes everywhere. Fucking mosquitoes! Dude, just use the torch. Um, which one? The one so in front of you. Smart! Wow, wow, Wallaroo. What do you do? Why don't you give me that lighter? Give me, give and any me. other sharp objects you may have. Come on. Uh, uh, give up the lighter. No! Mine. Fucking, they're everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh, damn, there's kids are everywhere. Kids are everywhere. Smoking the kids doing that. Look, you are right, you guys getting pit? You know what else is getting bit but me? What the hell? Yeah. Let me get some of this. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. smoke in my eye. This is yeah. some primo shit. Yeah, man, it's a pretty good blonde. I could have rolled a better one, though. You always say that. I've burned all my leg true. hair already. There's yeah. no more hair to burn. What am I going to do so. now? Uh, it's pretty good. It good gets the job you done. Go. You guys owe me five bucks each for this. Really, dude? You're going to bring that up now? Dude, I need guap for cigarettes. You just quit. Three There's no more hair to burn. What am you I going to do? You're so fucking greedy. We'll get you. Yeah, wasn't it like $4 last time? Dude. My parents are on my case, and I'd rather move out than get a freaking day job. Well, I'm pretty sure you need money for that as well. Then give me money for fucking weed. This is why I just buy 40s. Dude, where'd that come from? I just from? left it here, like under this log. Why, do you just leave things here overnight? It gets cold at night. But it's nighttime now, so you just, that's been out here all day? Wally, get in here. How your philosophy class is going, man? I'm too smart! I'm too smart! I'm too smart! Too Why didn't you invite smart, Sarah and Emily? Smart, there are never smart, any smart, girls too, here. Smart, What's the point, too man? Smart, it's too dark. Too fucking smart. Exactly. I'm too fucking smart! They're just a distraction anyway. Right, Vince? I'm too From smart. what? I'm too smart! I'm too Dude, smart, Vince, too I haven't smart. spoken to you in forever. How you doing? Smart! Oh, I'm too smart! Oh, too Vince, smart. I saw this great movie the other day. I gotta smart, tell you about smart. it! I'm too fucking smart! 
That's how it's going. Hey, dude, you know what we should do? Gene. I'm, I'm game. Gene. I'm all hey, Gene. Gene, you come, all come, come over here. Gene. Game. I'm the best at the game, so I don't know why you guys would even want to play You it. guys want to play that game? You're never done until you can no longer kill yourself. It's the ultimate assertion and statement. The only real end. Okay. What about that game? Hey! Game. Oh, 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 oh man, fuck. God, I'm just so good at that game, you know? Yeah, it's stupid. Oh, yeah, man, those fuckers are just a little too fast. <laughs> Tell me about it. Hey, man. Dude, are you alright? You, I mean, you probably should uh, get going, you know? The night's just started. Yeah, but I gotta be up in the morning, you know? I gotta impress the boss. Don't go, I'm staying up. Well, you're just gonna do what they're gonna do. Might as well go with the flow. Actually. Man. Hey man, I vomited up those axe a while ago. What? Come on, let's go get you a ride from John or Gene. Guys, uh, we should totally get some food after this. Oh, yeah, yeah do you... Are you texting Amber? Mexican or yeah, I'm texting Amber. Come on, Jerry, pick up. Pick up. Jerry! Hey, it's Garth. Funny thing, we're actually outside of your house. What's wrong, dude? I told you, don't worry. Oh, son of a... Fuck off. Don't talk to me. Nice. Rude. Good. Fun. Um, Janet? Janet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Very good idea. Not just a good idea. H. I. J. X. J. A. N. Janet. W. O. U. M. Janette. Janet. Janet. <laughs> Marty. Marty. <laughs> The Janet, phone, Janet, it's uh, it's Garth. How's it going? Funny thing, we're outside of your house right now, and uh, Jerry said to just uh, wait for him until he gets back uh, in the basement. So if that's cool with you, you could uh, you could come let us in if you'd like. That's awesome, Janet. Hooray. Oh, there she is. Hooray. Hey. hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, you know, I don't know where Jerry is right now. Um, you know, he's at work, so I guess he's gonna be there late. I'm just smoking. Oh. Aren't you worried about him at all? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, he called me this afternoon saying that he wanted a ride, but I told him to give me gas money, which he never fucking does. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you want to hit of this? I don't fucking smoke this shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I forgot. You quit. I remember we used to go up and down this whole block, blaze out of our minds, neurotically picking apart everything we saw. I don't do that anymore, do you? Well, that was the only week I ever smoked, okay? Fuck it! <laughs> <laughs> wow, Garth, you're like stereotypical fucking stoner. Hey man, have a hit of this. Oh yeah? And how do you help people out, Vince? Because my charity, it's all I have. Well, I don't need your charity. I just need you to be my friend. And it's Janet's weed, anyway. There you go, being your stupid, stubborn little self. I mean, what's with you recently, dude? You know I'm your friend. Don't start the fucking argument over nothing. Garth, Janet, don't worry. 
No one needs your charity. Since when did Vince get so serious? I know, right? Man, I'm too high to drive. Fuck him. Janet, that's never stopped you before. What do you think? Another? Another? Uh, How you feeling? How are you, son? Boy, bad. Oh, boy. Bad boy. Oh, shit, man. Hit that shit. Hit it. <coughs> what else did you do today? Oh, uh, well. I, uh, I woke up and I dreaded the day. I embrace a selfish sensation, the same one I fucking feel every time I lie awake. Then, I lay out a plan to kill myself. This one's actually pretty good. You'll like it. After that, I went to the therapist. My mom drove me out to find the diagrams. The doctor just told me that once again, I fear human interaction or shit. He said I gotta find a better, safer way to lash out against all this bullshit. He even said I was perfectly normal, in fact. I was like, oh, fuck no, I have Asperger's, how can I not? I drilled it into his spine. The doctor, he told me that I'm a human, but I said, no, I'm an animal. <laughs> oh, oh, leave him alone. Yeah, he's an animal, but he's the most lovable and intelligent animal we know. Thank you, Vith, I don't know what that was for, but thank you. Janet, would it be cool if John and Jean come over after they drop off Jim? Uh, I don't know if Cherry likes having a lot of people over, plus, you know, Wally. Well, what the oh, fuck shit. ever? I, mean, I just want to talk to that asshole. He fucking slept with my girlfriend. You guys never really, uh, got to the bottom of that, did you? Oh, why the fuck would I want to anyway? You were going to break up anyway. Yeah, man. That's fine. That's not how it- ah, fuck! Alright, look, it's fine, alright? This might be the last time that we all get to hang out together. We're not going to let petty differences get in the way of us having a good time. It's the last night of the world, guys. I got a job in the morning. I got to wake up at 6 a.m. before the sun even rises. And we're all going back to the university in a couple weeks. And it's just going to be... I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> well, whatever, dude. We got... We got a fucking genius over here, and we got a fucking pothead over here, and we got a... A fucking uh, little bitch over here. <laughs> She's Fuck. a little bitch. Look at that guy. Wait, shh. I think I hear Jerry coming in. At least he's okay. Jada, what the fuck? What? Where were you? Well, I've been here the whole time. You said you had an appointment and you couldn't pick me up. Then I texted you and... What the fuck ever. You said you could do it. I just spent 60 fucking dollars on a taxi, which is all I made at work. All right, God, I'm sorry. I thought Sam would give you a ride home. <sighs> Sam's a fucking asshole. You know what? You're my fucking brother. Why do you treat me like this? Oh, calm down. It's just that you make me so fucking mad sometimes. If you don't calm down, I'm going to call Mom and tell her that you broke into the house. Don't, into don't the you house. fucking dare. Why don't you invite my friends over? I didn't invite them. Garth said you would wait for them. What? No! What are you- Garth? Mean? Hey! What's up, dude? Oh, okay. So you entice my friends over with weed <laughs> and get them to join your side. My fucking friends! Why do we align ourselves in polar systems against one another? Why can't we just coexist, man? <laughs> You, Wally, don't be passive aggressive with me. Fuck, man. Shit. You know what you did. I can't believe you never confronted me about Wally, it. Wally, I will punch you. I will fucking, fucking do it. knock you down. Fucking oh, knock you down. hey! Right here. Sit down, stop. Sit the fuck down. All right, we cool? Jesus. Janet, always do this. I swear to God, if you fucking call mom. I'm going to do it, okay? And what are you going to do? Hit me? Hello, mom? Yeah, Jerry's threatening me and my friends. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the cops will love that, Jerry. Yo, Jerry, what's Jerry, up, man? man? Yo, Vince, Garth, Lawrence. Yeah, smoke the biggest fucking blonde. Yeah, we're dropping up too. Janet, right. what the fuck? I'm calling the cops, so everybody's gonna have to leave, okay? Don't you fucking dare. You know what? I'm gonna call my boyfriend, and when he finds out how you've been treating me, he's going to kill you. I don't want Sam in my house next to my friends. <laughs> yeah, Sam, okay, Jerry's over here threatening me. Can you come over here quick, please? Jesus, he just threw a beer bottle at me. Are you... 
Hang on. Hang on. Okay? I just want to talk to you. Okay, you care more about your job than your own sister. No way. Okay, you're right. You're my sister. My sister, okay? Why do we always have to fight? We share the same blood. Why can't we just love each other and see each other in ourselves? And all you do is smoke weed all day. What kind of life is that? Soon you'll know. You'll realize and you'll have it coming to you. Is that a threat? No. Please, let's just settle this, okay? Are you sorry? Yes, I'm sorry, okay? I don't know. I don't think you are. Janet. Janet! Okay, everyone, set the fuck down! Don't fucking move! Garth, give me that beer! Give it to me! I said don't fucking move! He threw that beer bottle at me! What?! It was a can, and I apologized. And why would I hurt my own sister? <clears throat> you know what? I'm just gonna kill myself. I think you'd all be happier if I was six feet underground and pushing daisies. Maybe you're on the fringe of Breaking Bad, but until then, you're just Deadwood for my dog, you know what? Dexter. I'm gonna slit my wrists and spray blood all over the walls and have it say, fuck you, Jerry. Yeah, it's more like an advertisement for a serial rapist. <laughs> Yo, what? Hey, sit down! This is the police. Neighbors have complained about screaming. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, everything's fine. I am a Marine. Fuck me. Oh, son of a bitch. Police, don't anybody fuck move. Out of here. Don't Guys, move. Go. Hey, I'm you go stay. Check on you sit right, down. I'm going out the back. My car is over by the woods. If you're not there in five fucking minutes, we're leaving with Okay, I'll meet you. I just want to go to the beach after this, okay? The beach? What are you talking about? Hey, hey, I said don't worry. Don't I'm in control. In the here. Morning. Not it's anymore, tornado. you're not. I don't care. We'll just go. Okay. Just go. I'll meet you. I have fucking shrooms. That's what? Fuck yes. Go. Get out of here. Go. Janet, are you okay? Janet, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to fucking do here, man. Mm -hmm. <coughs> cops! Hey, cops! Over here! You're gonna be okay. You're, you're a good what? person. What's this I see here? A box of miscellaneous Shh. items on the floor? Seems like a domestic disturbance, all right. So, want to take them now or wait until we get to the beach, Wallaroo? Let's take them now. Really? If we're going to stay a while, I think we should just wait until we get there. I don't know, maybe... I can't wait until you stupefied faces get sucked up by that damn tornado. Your giant face will be the first to smash into the concrete, Garth. Oh wow, great comeback, Vince. Man, have you ever seen Jerry like that? I really hope Janet's okay. She'll be fine. I was talking to her. She had cuts on her arm and a bottle of bleach next to her. Jesus, God. Well, what about Jerry? What about him? I mean, do you think he got arrested? We definitely passed like six different cop cars going the opposite direction on the way out. True. I really hope that Gene and John don't have to- You mean John and Gene, plus it's an ABC order. You mean ACB order? Whatever. I hope that John and Gene don't have to testify against him in court. They don't have to do anything. They can and should keep silent. Fuck the cops, man. We're friends. We can settle this shit ourselves. <laughs> or we can just tell them the truth. Is that they walked in unannounced, as everything does. Yo, I bet they shot Sam. Yeah, that'll look good for a couple of cops shooting a Marine. I hope they take good care of Janet. I'll call her in the morning, too. Man, Wally, why are you so calm tonight? What happened to your crazy, typical self that we all know and love? He's still the same Wallaroo we all know and love. Yeah. You know, what's it called? I'm a human being, you know? I enjoy acting out. I don't have to put on a fucking show for you guys, you know? I gain pleasure out of pain. Recently, I realized that we're all meant to suffer. You know, we just have to accept it. Wow, dude, why so serious? Because I'm a fucking little baby dancing tip on toe. And we have shrooms, Vince. Okay, let's take them now. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Ah, shit, <laughs> I think I dropped a piece. Are you guys kidding me? Just wait till we get to the beach. We're like almost there and we can turn the light on. <laughs> I'm gonna be out of this world tonight. I can fucking tell. And I will be in this world. Yeah, and I predict that both of your predictions will probably come true. Garth, you're sober, right? And you don't have anything in your yeah, car? Man, I just fine. got off Relax. probation a week ago, okay? Finally. Congratulations. Seriously? What, dude? I don't have anything in here. Okay, I have some benzos, but it's my prescription. Garth, 
Drive fucking faster! No, I haven't been to fucking do so this so long! Those colors problem? look nice, man. Everything's so oh, colorful. I'm gonna get even more of a ride there. I can tell. Oh, shit, what the, what the fuck was oh, shit, dude? Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously? Fuck. What did we do? Drugs? Shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm, I'm over. I'm over. It's fine. Jesus. Just calm shit, down. Man. Calm down. Everyone relax. That's when you chew streams up. Oh my god, fuck my fuck me. Where are those shrooms? You guys fucking- Yes, we ate them all, goddammit. <laughs> all of them? I swallowed them. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck, fuck, be cool while we- Windows, dude, wild. windows! Yo, 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 Where are you guys going? What? Oh. Oh, you know, man, we just came from, like, that bar at the- I mean... Shit, we're going to the beach and- Look, dude, I'm 23, man, and I only had, like, one drink. I don't know if you need to know that or anything. To the beach at this time? To do what? Yeah, <laughs> man, you know. Just to like get out and look around, you know, have a good time. And uh, Vince, Vince here, he he uh, he likes to take pictures. So a good time. Yeah, man, is that so like fucking hard to understand? Cars. What? Where are you guys from? I told you, man. That exit, like that exit back there. Why are you so nervous, huh? All right, honestly, I mean it's because you pulled me over, and I don't have like any idea. You know what we did wrong. So. You were driving in the left lane. You know that lane is for passing, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know that. But uh, I just didn't know that you could like get get pulled over for something like that. You know. Well, you think you can just get away with everything? No, no. I didn't say that. What? No. No. What? Are you gonna arrest me, officer? I mean. Can I search your car? What? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 no problem, but I mean, I really don't see a point in it because, like, we're almost to the beach, and, I, like, to be honest with you, I have a job in the morning, and I gotta be up early, so we can't be out too late, so there's really no point in... Okay, everyone out of the vehicle, and give me your licenses. You know we don't like sudden movements, right? Bartholomew, I see. <laughs> so whose bath salts are these? You know this stuff is illegal, right? It can burn a hole in your nose. I've seen a kid with this stuff and he was missing a tooth. So tell me, to whom does this belong? Alright, it's mine, okay? Fine. Honestly, man, I stopped fucking smoking weed like so long ago so I could get this fucking job and now it's gonna be fucking gone and I just, I need something every fucking day of the week, you know? I just need something that I can go home to and I can lose control of my mind for a fucking hour or so. Fucking, I don't even know where I got it. It's like some fucking gas station, okay? I'm sorry. Can you name this gas station for me? No. So whose bath salts are these anyway? You know this stuff is illegal, right? And it'll burn a hole in your nose. I've seen a kid with this stuff who was missing a tooth. So tell me, to whom does it belong? Just fucking arrest me, I don't care. Shit. 
I found some pills in your backpack. Yeah, they're my prescription. You haven't been giving them to your friends, have you? No, no, of course not. Sure enough. Yeah, I took one 15 minutes ago. I get anxious on long car rides. Are you okay to drive? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You sure enough? Yes, sir. Okay. When we do this, you get back in the car. You follow us to the station. You can take your friends back after you. Okay. Yeah, all right, sir. Thank you, sir. You know where I come from. This is just a $25 ticket. And you know, it would result in just a little less pay for it, don't you think?
so beautiful. Really? Are you still on the shrooms? Have you ever thought about what it would be like if life were a movie? Every single movement of the eye, every turn of the head, every sleep and awakening, a single blink and altered consciousness from a split second blow to the head. It could all have meaning. Everything one sees would mean something. This is actually beautiful once I see it closer up. Beauty is only found in detachment with a distant gaze. Just looking at this makes me feel like life could be so much more. I was quiet on the way here, I guess, just thinking, what am I doing with my life? It's just to spend my life in an office. I don't have to explain, you know. Anything you can say about such a life has been said before. I don't care about business. I think I really love, you know, psychology and nature. So talk to your parents sometime about it. I know they kind of pressured you into it, coming from that kind of life. Oh my god. What would my purpose be, just serving others? Nothing. Serve yourself. Serve the world. Your purpose is to suffer anyway, which we clearly are among this panorama. Why not wait until afterwards to talk about this? I think meaning only exists in the world in split-second, almost instant intervals. The smallest intervals that brilliance manifests itself only in flashes among rare individuals. That brief feeling you get just looking at all this, it's just too much! In this immensity, my spirit drowns. In this immensity, I stare. I stare until a brief flash of ecstasy encumbers my entire being. And then my being is reaffirmed! Like, like little, contained, unified movies. Yes, exactly!
Look at the pictures. What do they say? Will they help you through strictures or just lead you astray? Subdue your darkest secrets from behind. As time is running out, admire its grace until you go blind. We could find our freedom in the night, but every attempt is vain. Dance away from my sight. I just wish people can see this grand panorama. You know, I don't think we've ever used the word panorama until tonight. No, no, no. I, I used it once actually two summers ago. I, I never said kumquat until about three seconds ago. Oh, really? And I never jerked off in your face until three minutes ago. <laughs> oh. Oh. Guys, I feel like we've gotten closer to the day than any of the other crazy nights we've had. Are you kidding me? This is great! We should do shit like this more often. Yeah, we should. You know I got your back, Garth. You know what? I'm not even gonna fucking worry about it, alright? That back there, it was just a dream. Like this? This is fucking real life. Coincidence. It just happened. You know, we didn't get lucky or unlucky. Yeah, I mean, does any of it have meaning to it? I mean, any of the stuff we've been through tonight. You got arrested? So what? It means nothing about you. Stop! What the fuck? Meaning, 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 fuck! Can I get another one of those fucking pills? Calm down, man! Yeah, fucking take them. Guard, you seem anxious. You seem scared. Why are you so worried? Well, Look, we're here! Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I got arrested.
Woods, I just realized. Ever since we've been out here, I haven't thought of Amber once. Well, that's good. But, honestly, I can't wait to tell her about everything we've done tonight. Garth, do you think you can drop me off there after all this? I kind of want to walk around town some more. Oh, uh, actually, guys, it's getting really foggy. We, we better get home before we can't. Oh, Garth, I know you got it, like always. The image is only shadow, only reflection, lacking any substance. Amber. Me too. Is it cold in here? Is it just me? Do you know what I did tonight? No. I was sleeping. Couldn't answer your text. Can I tell you about it tomorrow? If you want. Can I sleep here? I can't believe we spent the whole day together. It really doesn't feel like it. Well, you came over really late. I was dreaming about you. I had a dream too. It's horrible. Yeah, I heard you gasping for air in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah. It was daytime? I was awake, I walked towards the mirror, I went to fix my hair, and I didn't see you in my reflection. I thought you were dead. What? I would never die in front of you. I don't know, I was... I was dreaming about... Well, we were walking down the street, like we normally do. Except we were in this, I don't know, apocalyptic world where everyone was dead except for us. We were just being bombarded by mortars, completely unaffected. And I looked up to the sky, and I saw a flying moose. Can you believe that? I was so excited. I was like, Amber, Amber, quick, take a picture. But you just stood there, shrugged, and said it doesn't matter. They aren't rabbits. What? I would totally love a flying moose. Where would you ride it? Away. You have to refill it on barnacles every two hours. Yeah. What's wrong? You seem pretty distracted. I'm fine. Just fine.
about the war. Which one? I saw a picture. I'm sorry, that's pretty terrible, but there's nothing we can do about it. Well, you don't read the newspaper. If you did, you'd care. Imagine being a wartime photojournalist. You just take pictures of this. Because I can see this. And they can see death? Hey, I've seen death. Uh, come on, how we even get started on this? Look at the trees. Enjoy yourself. Just don't have fun doing these kind of things. Come on, you said you'd be up for anything. I don't like nature. I want to be somewhere else. This is somewhere else. We spent hours, if not days, lying in bed, sitting on the couch, watching TV. Distance is just metaphysical. It's not how many miles from home, not how close I am to you. Come on, how long have you known me? You know I don't concern myself with the opinions of you people. Just talking about this. What? Wouldn't your child suffer too? Uh, no. Have you been talking to Wally? You'd be the mother. And yeah, Wally is the smartest and nicest guy I know. I don't think he's very nice. You've never met him. I've told you, what, two stories about him? Well, if he's your best man, I'm not going to marry you. Ever. This? Are we dying? No. Stop saying that. We are not dying. This sun shall not set. forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? As loud or as quiet as you like. What? If a tree falls in the forest, it makes a sound. But since no one is around to acknowledge that it is a sound and call it a sound, the world therefore remains unenlightened to its soundiness. You still never told me about your night last night. I can't... I can't describe it in words. My friends and I got arrested and we went to the beach. Hey, come check this out. It's getting dark, but let's stay for a bit. No, you know I don't like the dark. Let's go. You didn't bring your flashlight? Shut up! No, I use it for the house. What if some danger lurks on the way back? So what? I already saw the path in the daytime. Nothing's going to kill us. I'm not going to die in front of you, and even if I did, I'd, you wouldn't see me. I heard these stories once about the woods. Oh, they're just stories. Look, I've been here plenty of times and I've never had a story to bring home to you. You never tell me any stories. You don't listen. Okay, we were at the beach and... Okay, I get it. You went to the beach. There's no more to say. <sighs> Vince, let's just get out of here. Oh my god, look! What? I don't know, it's getting kind of dark. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? Just hold my hand, I'll drop you off at home. No, I don't trust you. Just hold my hand.
everything I'm about to show you is my will. Take note of every blink of my eye, every turn of my head, every step that I take, every word that I say. As of now, I'm in complete control. Gotta tell the beach about Amber. Gotta tell Amber about the beach. Gotta tell the beach about Amber. Gotta tell Amber about the beach. Gotta tell the beach about Amber. Gotta tell Amber about the beach. Gotta tell the beach about Amber. Gotta tell Amber about the beach. Gotta tell the beach about Amber. Gotta tell Amber about the beach. went for a walk too? <laughs> yeah, at the same time as you. How do you know it was at the same time? Oh, I don't know. Right now, I'm 
in complete control. What, what's your name? I got this for you. This is my friend Vince. Fuck! Hey, we know someone with the same name. Well, uh, thanks for buying the drinks, uh, Garth. Uh, I, I promise the next one's the next one's gonna be on us, on me. Gar Gar Garth. 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 Oh, chill out, yes, man. Yes, that is my name, officer. Garth is just more approachable. He's easier on the ears. You know what I mean? Thank you. This is easily one of the best drinks I've had all night. I don't work. I don't drink. I was gonna make this drink. I don't know about that. I haven't had a drink. I haven't drank. 298 days. We worship freedom in itself, not a negative definition of what we can do, but rather what we cannot be obligated to do. You're going to drink this. It's more potent than your typical amber ale. Good, that's more like You. You. Tell me, have you ever been in love? Yeah, yes? Is that fucking terrible? Well, love may save all of you, but it will never save me. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, what are you doing? Where's Guard? I need Guard. So, really want to make a change. Here's a change for you. Kill yourself. Just fucking. I'll tell you what, when we're done here, when we finished our rounds, go home and drive your car over your fucking head. No, seriously, man. Bury yourself in the ground and let the organisms micromanage your flesh. Hey, what's back there? Hey! Oh, Vince. What's up, man? Who are these people? What the fuck? Oh, have you been drinking? Is that why you called me? You came a bit late. Stop in the yard. Vince, man. Hey, what's wrong? Make a sound. This? Didn't see me through the. Vince, dude, I'm here, man. It's okay. Hey, hey, remember that night? I tried to jump you off in the ocean? Tell me, man, what happened that night? Amber? I slept. I'm still sleeping now. It's just all restless. And, uh... Hey, can I buy you guys a drink? Wally, you son of a bitch, you got me drunk. It's fucking full. It's nothing to fall. It's not even a fucking fall. I haven't seen it ever in a while. I mean, I got this third point, the third point in the morning and discuss a few points. Don't waste your time. If you're far enough like me, you can't be friends. This is before the ball, and I remember taking a drink from that guy and feeling really bad about it, but then again, it makes no sense to feel bad. There is really no feeling bad, and I was just so connected to that time at the beach. I just really focused on the drawings and the musings of those drawings. For split seconds, I felt connected to the drawings. 
I just really wish I didn't drink, because every time I drink, I think about the drink, and here I am talking about the drink. But these words are just empty spaces, you know? I remember Amber saying something like, I don't know, it just made me so frustrated. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a train that you've been riding on for quite a while, moving in one direction, and at one point you got off, and you just keep watching that train go on and on, believing that you're still on it. Listen, I'm, um, I'm not too good with metaphors. Can we maybe just focus on my drinking problem or something? I don't think you have a problem with drinking like you keep telling me. I think you stigmatize it and obsess over it, especially when you're not doing it. And thinking about Amber, you have this existential chore for thinking about her when you're not with her. Can't you just enjoy the moments with her? This is not about drinking or about Amber. The drinking could just as easily be codeine, and Amber could just as easily be that chick outside of the bar. Nothing of any of this has anything to do with my drinking or my relationships. And, ah, uh, I feel like, ah, uh, all the time. That's the problem. There's the point. There it is. I think there is a much bigger problem at hand here. The way you're speaking, you seem like you can't get your thoughts straight. You have an explanation a concept, a but for everything. You can't even look into my eyes while you speak. I know. I feel clearer that way. When I look into someone, uh, someone's eyes, you feel concrete and fi finalized, and I fear those kinds of things. I am legitimately deeply concerned. I think you should stay away from drugs. Absolutely everything, including Amber, for at least a month. Amber? Never. Well, I don't think we can go on like this. I can't help someone who won't help himself. What are you, God? I mean, what can I do? What should I do then? I... I don't know much about you yet. I need you to stay sober for a month, no exceptions, so I can find a sort of baseline to judge you on. Well, I don't really feel I have a baseline. <laughs> Never did. Well, that brings us to the argument about the self. Not interested. Just do it. Stay sober. Don't force anything. And take it easy. Don't force Amber, or the idea of Amber, upon yourself. They're the same thing. Hmm? Amber and the idea of Amber. Anyway, stay away from drugs and just take it easy with Amber. Love is the strongest drug of all with the worst withdrawal symptoms. Yeah. I mean, I have been trying to be healthier lately. Oh, really? Yeah, I stopped eating certain foods. I've Write a book on exercise. I go for walks in the woods. It's just nothing really seems to help, though. Do you feel like you're getting anything out of these sessions? Well, I feel comfortable talking to you. I feel like I'm on a mission when I'm here to say as much as I can in 50 minutes. Get anything out out of... Like, a warm feeling from talking? Like a connection that may just seem to last? Hey, I'm not your girlfriend. <laughs> Do, do you feel like you're getting anything from these sessions, Vincent? <laughs>
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't hear me. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's a party. You don't understand! Fuck you! Two? My dude's friend. Vince, I thought you changed. Like a new man, you know? Amber? Holy sh- oh. I'm sorry, you're not Amber, but I can still hit on you anyway. Yeah. Nothing. Look, I've been thinking about those things that you told me that night. At the ocean. Yes. Fuck off! We're destroying our world. My world, Garth. Our world. The only world I know. Wally. I'm your best friend. Okay? Uh, I know. I guess. For what it's worth. Dude. We didn't even meet the host of this party, did we? Maybe the host of the party. It's the party itself. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like none of us are ourselves. Dude. We are. Maybe we just got stuck in another dimension. Hey man, have you killed yourself yet? I, I don't know. I, I gotta go home. Huh? Tell me! I, I gotta rethink my life. Yo, what the fuck, man? Fuck! Hey! Shut the fuck up! We're trying to talk here. Shut the fuck up! Find us somewhere else! There's garbage can right next to you. Garsh. Look, look at that. I was the old 8 to 4. 7 to 4 30. And you know what? It's okay. I'll just tell you about it some other time, you know? After I see how tomorrow goes. We just need to learn what we're meant to be. Go around. Vince, man. What about all those things that you said that night? I was just in the moment, Garth. I was reading things I already knew, and it worked. Did you see what I saw that night? Yeah, man. <laughs> Did you see what I saw that night? Vince, I saw it. I saw it, man. It, it was pretty. Alright? It was very pretty. If I were to kill myself tonight, who should I do it with? Oh, come on, man. That's it. I'm taking you home and I'm tucking you in. But you know what? I, I bet Wally would be honored to die with you. <laughs> Wally's the only one who deserves to live. That, and Amber. And me? Do you want to live? Do you? Of course. Do you value life? Yeah. Yeah, Vince, like, of course, man. Okay. If you were on a ship, and there was one life raft, just one, and it could only fit ten people, but there were a hundred people on the ship. What would you do? You get on first, because you're strong, Garth. But then what? You got a hundred strong people just clawing and grabbing for the lifeboat, and you can't let them all on, because otherwise the entire ship is fucked! So what do you do? You cut the rope, and you take only the 
strongest people with you. If that's true, then you truly love life. You're okay. You're alive. What time is it? Is today? Is today tomorrow? What is it? I need to sleep. Fuck. I don't eat pizza anymore, remember? So, what'd you do before I came over last night? Nothing. We were hanging out with James, right? I guess. Oh, man. Last night was it. I'm not drinking anymore. 
Did you uh, hear there was another bomb threat? Pretty cool, right? We still need to go to the beach sometime. Hey, are you okay? Fine. Just fine. Fine. Just fine, huh? Oh, hey, Garth. Hey, Wally. How's it going? Uh, it's fine. Sorry they kept me so long, man. Ah, uh, no problem. I was just sitting here. Yeah, you've been waiting like an hour, right? Yeah, almost two. Oh, shit, man. I'm oh. sorry, dude. No, oh, man, don't worry. Don't be apologizing. Come on, let's go. You sure? Yeah, don't worry, dude. All right, let's just go. You know what I was thinking about? Just a beautiful thought. What if life were like a movie? Like every little thing we did had meaning. Every turn of the head, how long we gazed at something. Uh -huh. Alright, Wally, we can go to the swing set again. Yay! The playground! <laughs> hey, I, I wanted to say that I'm really glad that we got closer the other night. You know, it, it might just be me or the fact that I didn't sleep at all or that I've been up all day working, but uh. I just want to say it's really nice that I finally have someone to kind of latch on to, you know? Playground! Stop! All right. Come on, you know. Well, what about Vince? See, I don't know. I mean, he's always so caught up with, it's like, whatever he's thinking. It's hard to just talk to him. Plus, he's always with fucking Amber. Amber? Amber's like the prime example of what's wrong with the world. She's just like me, but the exact opposite. I guess I can understand how he loves her, though. No, well, I can't. Do you want me to walk you all the way home? So look, you're a philosophy dude, right? I'm sure you've studied this in many of many of your pretentious classes. What do you, um... What do you know about, like, the universe? And, like, uh... Do you think it could be true that... There's only one universe and that it's all set in stone? Why do you ask? Because nothing scares me more. You know, I believe in this one theory that I studied. That every possible random world that exists, within every random force that's between these atoms, something about like quantum, quantum physics, blah, blah, blah. Cool, so like what happens if these multiple worlds, these multiple universes like collide? I mean, there's so many out there. Amber, right? if you're just gonna the be like is, this, I'm just gonna go home. Every possible world. So what do I do? Is something wrong? Should I just? Is something bothering you? Are you feeling guilty Maybe I about find me a new or job whatever? And find something that I enjoy. Fuck. No, man. Do you think my, it might be just like worth it to create art? Just do whatever you want. What? None of this. Why do you say I that? I don't know. I don't care. Just tell me. You know what I mean? What do you mean? You're not fucking listening to me. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? No, I don't know. Tell me. I don't know what you mean, Ben. Fucking with me, aren't you? I'm gonna fuck with you. Get serious. You better be fucking. Yeah, I see. Good. I'm gonna go higher than you can. Oh, really? I'll bet you anything I can. I can go higher without any hands. Yeah, right. Look. Yeah, right. But you wouldn't go higher without any hands because then you couldn't pump like that. Oh, really? Right? Well, look at me. Look. Look. Whoa! Look. Look. Oh look. God. It's gonna kill me, dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> no. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Yo, Wally, what'd you do after uh, after our little walk yesterday? You guys oh, went for a walk God. too? Oh, yeah. Yes. At the same time as you. 
<laughs> How do you know it was at the same time? Oh, uh, I don't. It's funny, I was uh, on the other side of the couch last time. <laughs> and how does that make you feel? <laughs> so, what would you like to talk about with the last few minutes of our time? I don't know, I'm still a bit dissociated. I talk too well, much. Well, is there anything you'd like to ask me about myself? <laughs> it's funny that you mention that, actually. I go home and I think about how I just sit here and talk for 50 minutes. Can't help but feel a bit selfish. Go on, ask. All right, um... Are you married? Girlfriend? Boyfriend? Happily married for 30 years. Huh. Next week. Are you trying to guess my age? <laughs> I'm 60. Really? No way. Yeah, I think the same thing. Jeez, wow. Uh, actually... I would enjoy talking about, I guess, how, I guess what I'd enjoy talking about would be, uh, I guess, how to enjoy myself outside of these sessions when I'm outside in general. Well, are you here with me now? <sighs> You're always thinking about things so abstractly. It's not what you would enjoy talking about. It zips back to how you can enjoy talking about enjoying things. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, actually. I've just... I've never been able to put it into... words, I guess. That's happened a lot here. How do you feel about these sessions? Do you feel like you're here? Well... No. It's... It's weird, actually. I feel... Well, no. I mean, it's weird. I feel like my vision is the same thing as my thoughts. Like I treat everything I see as a thought. For example, how do I feel about this thing? What should I think about this thing? How do I feel about where I am right now? Does it even matter where I am? Well, it seems like you have a great sense of space. You're very nimble, balanced. You drive steadily and don't crash. <laughs> I don't think you give yourself enough credit for what is there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, actually. I just need to meditate to really ground my mind on this physical, physical face. You see, I keep doing that all the time now, just mixing, I'm messing my words up all the time. See, right there. You always have that sense of humor. Did you find it funny in the moment? Or the idea that you've done it a lot lately? A little bit of both, actually. Uh, also, I have to... <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> So, uh, where's, oh uh, yes, uh, Dr. Levi, he didn't, um, he didn't call you, he's going to be taking a bit of a break, uh, he's been under pressure a lot lately, taking a bit of a vacation. What? Yeah, no, it's okay, I'm, I'm his son, 
I'm here just uh, to take over the office during his leave of absence. Maybe prevent the, you know, suicide domino effect. Like when Hitler killed himself? Yes, exactly. Wait, he did kill himself? No, no, no. My father is fine. He would never, I, I mean, he, he thinks a lot and he's under pressure a lot, but he would never do that. But if he did... Oh, there it is. My father actually wrote about in his notes. You have this very peculiar smile that you kind of present when you're, t you're speaking as if you know something that we don't. So, what else do you know about me? Well, I know a lot, Vince. I've kept up to date with all my father's observations. Okay, great. So, you should probably know that I always come to therapy sessions hungover. It's just kind of this peculiar little happenstance. Yes. Yes, that's in here. Now, it's kind of tough for me to start with a difficult question like this, but it's very important that we cover it, so let's get rolling and get out of the way. Here. As far as Amber goes, you and Amber let's say we're to have some troubles and separate, break up. How do you think you would handle this? Uh, do you think you'd be able to get over it quickly? Well, no. I mean, Amber knows everything about me. I guess I'd have to just start over. But it just feels so absurd to meet someone right now. Okay. Hey, why didn't you write that down? Well, it's not relevant, that's Then what, what is relevant? I hate to do this to you, giving you back-to-back -back difficult questions, but how are, do you, Vince, ever feel that you are suicidal? Me? Wait, does that mean your father? No, 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 my father is fine. Let's just, can you please stop making me imagine that? But if... Alright, no. I'm not suicidal. Quite the opposite. I mean, yeah, what is the opposite of suicide? I just... I used to be able to manage everything better. My life, my relationships, now everything. Dealing with her. I'm sorry, I'm not good at starting off. How is Amber? How is the drinking? It's not about Amber or the drinking. Those are just metaphors. It's... That's not what this is about. Well, Vince... What would you say, then, this is about? You mean you can't tell me from all those notes? No, probably not. Okay, what I think you need right now, what we need to do is find at what point this all changed for you. At what point you started feeling this way. I would recommend that you try to clear your mind, Vince, and try to just meditate on what it is you need to do. I know I can accept things. There are things I know. And I just, I just get too caught up in thinking about it, and trying to rationalize it, and I just... I know what I need to do, and... Hey Doc, you ever taken psilocybin? Excuse me? Psilocybin. You know... shrooms. Um... Now... I haven't really read all of the waiver forms, uh, and I'm not, uh, we do have doctor-patient confidentiality, right? Never mind. Okay, well, Vince, what I really think you need is to just 
Start with a fresh, clean slate. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? It's me. Listen, can uh can we meet up? I don't know. Your backyard, that field. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to talk about me. Nothing, just walking bored. Yeah, I just want to talk. Just not sure about, uh, about a few things, but I will be soon enough. All right. All right, bye-bye. I can come, right? All right, bye. Vince, why did you want me to come speak to you? We're even now. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you drunk? No, but I still want to be with you even though I'm not drunk. Everything makes so much more sense now. I love you, I still love you, and I want to be with you. I just want to be together with you. We could be together and just be. It's not that simple. I don't think it could ever be the same. Of course not. I'm different than I was yesterday and thankfully the day before. But once we spend the night staring into each other's eyes like two gleaming lights will be perfection incarnate. I don't think this could ever happen. I pity you, Vince. You're so selfish. You have your priorities all wrong. You should go figure them out, Vince. Get rid of me. It's for your own good. Don't ever talk to me again. Don't ever look at me again. 
Never think of my name. Don't even begin to think of the concept of me. It's the only way you could get better. No! Why does everyone keep telling me We're this? We're completely different people who want completely different things. Sometimes, I even think you just stick around for show. Just someone you could verify yourself with. To reassure that everything you did was real. I'm an urn for your empty ashen words. no more. All I see is this stone-cold city, the core of these lines, the department of dying flesh, joy sterilized by apathy, monotonic, deadly concrete. My heart beats strife, nausea caused by motion, a soul-colored ashes, one city, one block of misery, continuous misery. I love you! Yeah, it was made by me for me. I pity you, Vince. It's just... I'm sorry. It's too late. This world has come to an end. No, I've come to an end. There's only one person who can bring me down in this world. Me! I can and will destroy myself tonight. You watch, I will destroy myself tonight. Okay. Assuming you're one of these people that gets uh, drunk in one of these gentlemen's clubs and then makes his way to the beach, <laughs> stumbles around, drunk, alone, and a friend of a straddler. Of course. I work right over there. Really? <laughs> you're a stripper? I'm a bartender, actually. Listen, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I was just, um... Just came out here to think, and I just, uh... Look, I'm sorry. I just wanted to be alone tonight. Maybe we could talk another time or yeah, something. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? I understand. You just got out of one of those gay clubs after all. I, no, um, no offense. I mean... I just came here to think. There's a lot on my mind and just, uh... You have the most beautiful eyes. 
Thank you. Vince. I'm not drunk, and as far as I know, I'm not getting. So why are you here? Why not? The ocean is like incredibly beautiful. Right? Really? You think so? I feel the same way. My girlfriend would have never gone for this. I come here every night to think. You should have seen it the other night. The fog was so thick, you couldn't see anything in front of you. You okay? You're sweating out. Money will be good. <laughs> you want to make it? You want to make it? <laughs> hey now. I'm fine. I'm just <laughs> tripping. Psilocybin? Shrooms? You know what? I understand. I'm gonna let you get back to whatever journey you're on. Thanks. Like, What's it like? How do you, how do you feel? Like, um, what's on your mind? Well. Wait, um, look, do you maybe want to meet me here tomorrow? Because, I mean, you work close by and I'll probably be here anyway. Sure. You want to meet the spot tomorrow, one o'clock? In the afternoon? You look like you need some fresh sunlight. <laughs> All right, I'll see you there. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's all right. Well, I was just sitting here thinking, fine to absorb the sun's rays. What, you didn't think it was going to come? I'm used to people not coming. I live right over there. Oh, man. So much going on here. So many people and so many things. It's so damn bright. It's a sunny afternoon. Yeah, but they're all just fucking... Excuse me? They're all just lying on their fronts, doing nothing, staring into infinity. How's the stars look all without them? You ever dig for sand crabs when you were a kid? I used to do that all the time. Oh my gosh, yes, they're so cute! Come on, let's go. <laughs> we gotta get closer to the shore. Alright. Come on! Okay. My area. Really, kiddo? Why don't we share? Okay. Oh, we can dig for sand grabs. <laughs> hey, I think I found one. Really? Pick it up. I got it. It's desurfaced. It's resurfaced. It's, it's derisen. Descended? Oh, really? <laughs> My name is Finch. Finch McGuffin, but some people call me Sandra. 
so innocent. Oh, come on. Don't be so cliche. Oh, come on. But this isn't cliche. Just enjoy it, kiddo. Well, first of all, babies freak me out. They're like little mini babbling people, homunculi on strings. <laughs> huh. Fitch McGuffin was it? Wow, that's, that's, that's a lot of sand crabs you got there. What are you gonna do with all of them? Set them free into the ocean. Yeah, but then they'll just be crabs. They have the same sand underneath. They know what they're looking for. But... Uh, Vince, you wanna go for a walk? Yeah, I like long walks on the beach. Will I have to talk to you? See you later, MacGuffin. I'm sorry. I should have hit the line. It's okay. Looking at it isn't going to make me want it. So... What do you want to watch? I don't care. Come on. It's your apartment. Do you believe in archetypes? What? I've heard of them. They're Jungian, U.S. Carl Jung. He came with the basic instincts and basic attributes of what human nature is. Different cultures, and he goes to some cosmic level of power. I don't know. I got this video of my friend. He's really drunk in the city. You want to watch that? And those are the things that we choose to call the person because those are the things that we like. And we like to envision people in ways that cohere with our positive expectations of them. That's a fucking story. And they are infecting your fucking being and you reject them. And there it is, the conflict of cells. And that's the fucking modern world that is working its way into fucking being. There it is, from my cock, thunder, lightning, and blood. My unavoidable witch, that you all be destroyed by flame. How would that differ from any wish of your own I'm fucking God? Worthless. I'm fucking worthless. Fucking workplace without people, you rely on us. Fucking kill ourselves and you're fucking dead. Fucking dead. Fucking dead. Give me back my fucking cigarette. Somebody fucking get it and give it the fuck back to me. <laughs> Be my cock. Pale as your Christ. What else would you want to do with your fucking body? It's just fucking skin. Skin that ends in nerve endings, nerve endings that feed into your brain. It's all fucking nonsense. What does that fucking mean? A bit of fucking fire touches your skin and it feeds into your brain and it says you're in pain. What does that mean? Hey! Oh god! Actually, the bloody parts are the parts that hurt the least. Dead and reckless! Dead Messiah! I want you fucking pathetic shits to 
misrepresent my body on the street corner. <laughs> Fucking bleeding. Pathetic. You think it's heroic? You pieces of shit. Yeah. My blood. Where's all my blood? It's all inside of me. It needs to be outside of me. I don't want this blood in me. This blood doesn't belong inside of my body. And I want to say, no, God, there's no fucking pain. It's just fucking skin. And when you cut it, you cut the fucking devotion, too. And there's no bound to that gun. There's no bounds to anything. You just cut it. And it's just skin. There is no God beyond your body. There is no God beyond your body. There is no God beyond your body. You cut beneath that skin. God is dead the moment you pierce it. You can fucking destroy it. It doesn't matter. It's yours. It's yours. You want to tear my heart? I guess I won. Excuse <laughs> what? Excuse what you said? Excuse that you Goodbye. Have a nice night. Okay. You want to smack me the fuck up? Yeah, fucking do it! Yeah, I'm a drug addict! I'm addicted to drugs, buddy! I'm addicted to drugs, buddy! I'm addicted to all kinds of drugs, buddy! The funny part is, is that I'm a Yale PhD student. Yeah, I just thought I was a meth addict because I'm a Yale PhD student. Okay? Just stop, calm the hell down, and let us take you to the fucking train station. Okay? This is just dumb. Oh man. Is that your phone so What? No. So, we're trying to say that we all have some innate desire to kill ourselves? Well, I don't know what I'm trying to say. We all have an innate desire to impress ourselves. Who's the loudest, who's the truest, but... Yeah, I like your idea. It's crazy what the city can do to people. You know, I live so close to the ocean. You think I would take it for granted, but every night I just hear the waves speaking to me. I wouldn't want to hear them between the skyscrapers. And it's like the same thing every time. I try to ignore it, like when I, I'm upset, but it's like they just get louder and louder. Like if they couldn't confess their sins, they'd be trapped. Forever. My friend Wally always said expression is nothing more than repression. Because we can never truly express ourselves, we're always holding something back. I'd love to fall asleep on the beach. To wake up with the waves sparkling and just be born anew. Mm. Say, uh... I like this one where the paint chips off and it's all blank in the back. Yeah, I did that on purpose. I can do anything I want with my hands, they're very precise. Oh, well, I'm gonna put on a real movie. What are we watching? Fellini's La Dolce Vita. It's my favorite movie. I think every couple should watch it. Are you saying you're a couple? I don't know. In your dreams. <laughs> How'd you know what I was dreaming about last night? 
I think every couple should watch this movie. Hey, you're not even watching. Representation of what value in life is. You have a pathetic misrepresentation. You have a pathetic misrepresentation of what value in the world is. And you might think that it coheres with some superficial standard that's given to you by society, but it's not what it is, and you've got to search fucking deeper. I was watching the weather report this morning and they said that it's going to be a calm night for once but I could tell by the way the leaves were moving in a pattern, not circular, but in one direction that there was a storm coming. There's always a storm coming. You really need to get over him. Why? I just don't know how to live without it. I'm not your therapist, but I'll make believe I am for a minute when I ask you you said live without it. Jungian slip. Why did you stay with her for so long? We had this temporary peace. It was just punctuated eternal suffering. But I guess that's the only way to be peaceful in this world is to have a complete lack of any thought. But how can that be when in the thoughtful presence of someone else? No offense, you're so dramatic. You're only staying around here so that you can just say to yourself, look at this mad sad experience I've had. You're just building your own roller coaster in your own amusement park. You want to know something? The park is filling up with scrap metal and the ticket sales are dwindling. <sighs> I'm sure we're going to wake up together one day and you're going to think to yourself, she's not Amber. And then I'm just going to be another chapter in this mad, sad life of yours. You're just torturing yourself. Mad and sad. Every day I wake up and I look in the mirror and I see a girl that was never there. And she won't be there again today. I see this specter of myself and I just try to say my name to reaffirm. Tara. Tara. Tara's new face. Tara's new self. I just wish that my name would change as I do. And thinking about that and the cost just gives me a headache. And that's the ecstasy that I look for. I see my shrouded self in awe and I think, what will I become next? And it doesn't matter. That's, that's beautiful. You need something that's gonna last. What do you think about me so far? I think that you're impossible to read, which is what I've been trying to do from the minute I met you. I think that no personality type could find you. You're ever-changing. I see all types of auras, but you're still a complete mechanism. The obsession with both reality. for you to stay the night. You can put on a movie and watch it by yourself if you want. It's like deep. I just need to stay out here for a bit. What if I finish our wine? Let's see, we're not drinking his own wine. 
But seriously, that was what you told me you shouldn't drink. I know. felt like it could last forever. But first, I had to visit an old friend. Wally, like snowfall, he cried a silent storm. He couldn't make it to the lifeboat in time. Soon enough, the passion of nothingness will have come to a close. And the greatest idol you'll ever worship will soon mock you for actually believing in him. Oh, weeping willow Wally, my last true martyr. Hey, uh, okay, um, I'm sorry, one last thing, I'm, I'm sorry, alright, I know, I know, it's bad etiquette for the storyteller to apologize for anything, and trust me that I'm saying all this in retrospect, but I feel guilty if I didn't say it. Wally's death really did hit me. It did. At the time, I didn't know what to think about it. Emotion just flew over my head as I was running out of people to confide in, but once again, I apologize. You were the last people I'll confide in, and these will be the rapping words. Tell me what to do, man. Just tell me what to do. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. And there it was. There was still a breath. One last breath squeezed in. There was still time. Hey, it's me. I just got a little... sidetracked. I hope... I hope I'll still see you there.